Oh, well, it's about 11 o'clock, opening day of deer season. Jared and I have been hiking in for quite a ways. But we're headed up here to go glass, see what we can turn up. We're thinking that it looks like good country up there. We got a storm rolling in above us. All right, we're sitting here glassing. I spotted a doe over there. Jared spotted some turkeys. There were two does right down here. And then way up over there, I spotted a big white elk shed. And as I was pulling out the spotter looking at it, there was a, a buck walking in the same frame to the left. And it was a big old coos buck. I mean, that's a long ways away. And if we can see how big his antlers are from here, he's big. But we're gonna hike down on this ridge, get over there and glass all that country. He's super tall. Another one. Yeah. Oh, I see him. Right in between two trees. Kind of up along this ridge, along the fence line. And I spotted this bad boy. I think it's busted on the base, but check that out. That'd have been a double notch point. That is sweet. Well, I just bumped four mule deer. They ran up and around this bowl. Jared's up top, so I don't know if hopefully they run up towards them and we get lucky. Starting to move up. They're starting to move up. They're a hundred yards from the top. They're moving up to the west. Where are they in front of me? I can't see you. I don't know where they are. Stay there. I don't see you, but they're coming up towards the top right now. They're still there. Yeah, they're about 75 yards off the top, just standing there. Have you been moving this whole time? Well, I see them, but I don't see you. Have you been moving this whole time? And they're over to the east of you. Should have stayed where you were. east they're about 75 yards from the top they're just moving straight east away from the center of the ball Stay where you are. They're just here, right about 75 yards. They're coming right towards you. Okay, people, this could go down.
Is it full draw? Those aren't coups, there was a four point muley. There was four bucks, one of them was a four point. Two went to your right and two went to your left. I only see one of them. The other one might be down already. I'm not sure. The one's just standing there looking around. Say, so I only see one of the two. I'm not sure where the other one went. The one's just standing there looking around. Well, I bumped those four mule deer. I followed them around in this big bowl. Jared's been on the top. He looped all the way over here. Those deer were moving up over this way and I told Jared to move back this way those deer moved by right up there and he shot one of them at about 20 yards maybe maybe even less than that there was two two points a three point and I'm not sure which one Jared shot I thought of the four point but maybe it's just a big three point but Jared's still up here this buck has to be down somewhere right in here it didn't go too far Jared said he drilled it so we are on blood trail mode and we got to find this buck <laughs> freaking awesome jared's got his first velvet mule deer buck and i've got too many sheds in my pack already have to see about packing this thing out of here well we have looked and looked in this area for this buck we have not found him and his blood trail disappears this is kind of the last spot that we had him. Have it on film, but he goes out of frame, and there's four bucks, and I'm actually not sure which one Jared even shoots. We're pretty sure now it's the top one. You'll see it in the video. But we can't tell where it goes once it gets over this way. So we're gonna probably push over the top, see if there's a dead buck up here somewhere. I thought that was it down there. It's super camouflage, but it's light tan. I'm sure it is camouflage. It's probably not able to find it for us. We've been looking on the wrong side of the hill, Holmes. Colder, colder, warmer, burning hot, colder, warmer, down maybe. Back to your right. Down there. I haven't confirmed, but see that tan spot right there? Yeah. That is your buck. I'm about 99% sure. You see it? The left of the cactus there? Cactus. What cactus? Uh, right behind it. See it? I am not seeing it. I'm going to be pissed if that's not it, but I'm pretty damn sure that's your buck. Here. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think you got it. Go gather them up. 
Let's go strap them to your pack. That's the only way we're getting them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just gut them out, which I don't normally do, and I'll just strap them to my pack. See, we, I guess. Let's see how much he weighs. You got game bags? You got game bags? That's what I mean. You're gonna probably have to. is up ahead still. That is amazing. Yeah, look at this. Just like Dallas is there. It's a good thing I'm such a good blood tracker. This thing just picked right back up like it. Oh, you see that blood right there you just walked over? He was coming down this trail and just toppled down, died right here. Tumbled down. Hopefully his velvet's not too jacked. to see what this thing is. Definitely not a three point. Just a two point. At least on this side. Well, I shot the first thing I saw. <laughs> it's all good. That's the last meat we have to haul down. <laughs> Works for me. Yep. <laughs> he went pretty far. He probably went about. I don't know, six, seven hundred yards? Well, I it was, yeah, it is a three point on this side. I knew it really? was a three point. Nice. That's why I thought it was a cooge. Lift him up, let's see what it looks like. Nice. Stiff already. Yeah, the horns are still soft. Awesome. Nice shooting, man. So it must have gone straight through them. How are we gonna get them down? Uh, zip line. <laughs> Hot air balloon. I need somebody to haul me down. If oh. we if we can get them on my pack, got them out. The whole thing. Or maybe let, let's quarter them. Yeah, you could. I could take a couple quarters. I mean, my pack's probably 40 pounds already, but. I could leave these antlers here somewhere and come pick them up later. It's pretty cool right now. I don't think it's going to spoil. We could just gut them out, quarter them up, and hang them on a tree here and hope nothing finds them. Come back and get them in the morning. Well, let's uh, quarter them out. Oh, we got the hindquarters off. I'm gonna strap those to my pack. 
we've got the fuzzies off. I cut those off. There's all the antlers for the day. One more elk shot I glassed up. I didn't want to go pick up. I'm going to strap these on the pack. Jared's working on the back straps and the other meat. And then we'll, we got to hike camp is way on the other side of that knob down there. Got a long ways to go before it gets dark. They see your video? Huh? They see your video? Yeah, I took a picture What'd Lane say? Packing off the mountain. This phone makes it seem brighter than it is. It was super hot today. Clouds rolled in, rained on us for a little while. I went down the bottom of the creek and filled up five water bottles with this filter. Or we'd have been in trouble. Where that elk shed was that I picked up. It's pretty heavy. It's in my hands, about at least seven, eight pounds. But we're just hiking on this trail, making our way back, trying to get here before it gets dark. Oh, this is us hiking out at night. Can't see anything. Been using my phone as a flashlight. We don't have any headlamps. We're finally down at the bottom of this creek. It leads to another creek. And then we got, my phone's telling me I got low battery mode, so it's time to shut this thing off. Well, we made it to one creek. Now we just made it to the, up, the second creek. So this is what my pack looks like. All the antlers. And some meat. And this is the other creek. I don't know if you can see it. And Jared's up over there. We're almost back to camp. But it's almost 9 o'clock and we're not even back to camp yet. It's been a brutal hike out of here. Heavy pack. I can't wait to get something cold to drink and some food. So we'll see you at camp. Well, we finally made it back to the trucks. It took us about three hours to hike out of there. But we're back at camp. Back to the vehicle, we're gonna get something cold to drink and something to eat. Probably sleep good tonight. And came back with a pile today. <laughs> 